Okay, so finally making another sword. Got this pretty sizable chunk cut out here. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm planning on making a decent sized sword. There should be enough here. I just hope I can kind of craft it well enough. The piece of steel wasn't as big as I wanted it to be, but you know, that happens. So this is a piece of leaf spring that I've cut down part way down to the side, sort of down the middle, and the little circular thing where it touches the vehicle on the end there as well. My basic plan is forge it flat, give it a distal taper, for put an edge on it, you know, typical sword forging stuff. Hopefully uh, I can kind of forge this into my handle. Then there might be enough here to do it too once I actually get it forged the way I want it to, but uh, I don't know for certain, so I figured better just cut it the way I want. So I can't say I've ever made a sword quite this long before, so hopefully it goes by okay, but uh, one way to find out. Let's go. Okay, so I have this thing forged out. It is way longer than anything I've ever made, but roughly the same size as the cold steel one, which is what I'm loosely basing it on, or at least size-wise. I definitely have to uh, shrew up some of the edges. As you can see, they're a bit wobbly in places, but not too bad. Turned out fairly straight. Anything else I'll have to definitely do just before heat treat, I think, but got a nice, or at least marginally acceptable distal taper in it. So, yeah, I have to grind the shape, put some bevels on it, and of course, screw up the handle, and hope this thing survives heat treat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about that because my forge is about seven or eight inches too short to fit the whole blade in, so it'll be interesting.
blade, forged out, ground, and heat treated. I always forget why I never make these long blades. Now I remember why. Anyway, so now I have to make a guard. For that, I have selected this nice piece of scrap metal. It's just like a half inch by one inch piece. I, I think it's this size anyway. My basic plan is gonna kind of cut off a chunk, forge the taper them out a little bit, then cut a slot in the center for the tang to fit through, and probably go from there. Okay, through some miracle, I got that thing uh, heat treated, got that forged close to shape. It's been a long few days. Anyway, I have some holes drilled that I'm gonna use for the tang. Since this is pretty wide, I'm kind of hoping the angle grinder will be able to get through most of it. And then just kind of chisel, not chisel, well, I will use a chisel, but file it from there. <laughs> Again, this is taking me way longer than I've wanted it to. I wanted to have this, you know, done a couple days ago, but didn't get started until way late. So, you know, that's life. Anyway, so I'm going to grab the grinder and start filming and stop complaining. Got my guard forge nicely fitted on. I was gonna like, you know, grind it down and all that, but that's gonna take way too long. The sword's already taken longer than I want it to. I've got other projects I wanna do. I can't stay on one thing too long, it's kind of a problem. I don't have problems, you have a problem. Anyway, so I got this large chunk of steel here, just a scrap piece given to me, basically a long bar. Gonna forge it square, it's roughly the same size as there. I also probably at least attempts to make kind of a point into it, so that way it's not just a flat, you know, square chunk, and uh, cut a slot into it, pin it in place. Okay, now that I have uh, my sides glued on, which I just realized I forgot to show, I glued hand scales onto this. They're just a couple pieces of hickory. I just cut them out by hand. Put steel pins in, which I kind of messed up, but it'll be fine. So, gonna go ahead and take my uh, rasp, file it down a little bit, and then go to the belt sander. Clean it up and finish shaping it. Help if I clamp that. 